welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing the author tube in the trenches tag, which is which was originally done by Stripped Coverlet, and they tagged me. So yay, here we go. Do you have a sweetheart novel, short story, or poetry project? A project that turns you into a serious writer. And for me, that is definitely The Adventures and Shenanigans of Bastian Falco. That I published that and I have a whole video about like why it failed. But that was a huge learning process for me. And that's when I, I mean, I always knew I wanted to be a writer, like always, since I was at least in first grade. But after publishing that, and then also figuring out all the things that I could have done better, all the things I could have done more efficiently, and then I'm thinking like, I, I can actually get my stuff out there, get my words out there. That happened with Bastian Falco. The next one is, do you ever plan to work on a series length project? And this question hurts me because Bastian Falco was supposed to be a series length project. <laughs> And one day, one day I'll get around to re-releasing the novel the way I should have the first time and then finish writing the second book. Oh, it's just so painful. <laughs> this one is thoughts on mixed form projects. And I really like that idea. I don't think it's explored a lot, at least not in the things that I've read, but it's definitely a cool idea. And when I wrote Bastian Falco, I incorporated like, mm, I wrote like a little part of a song in it, but like novels that have short stories in them or novels that have poetry in them or short stories that have poetries, uh, poems, <laughs> poetries that have poems in them. That's such a cool idea. I mean, I know there are people out there that don't like that. Like if they see like a poem or a song in a novel, they'll just skip right over it, which is lame, but I love it. I. If it's well incorporated, I just like, if I read something like a, a poem or something like that, or like a short story in a novel, I'm just like, this is important somehow. And I, I wonder why, you know, if they haven't already said why it's important, even if they already said that why it's important, I don't care if it's done really well, I, I like it. And one thing that I liked when I was younger, when I used to read, you know, young adult, cause that was my age range. I really liked when you would be reading a novel and then you would come across like a found footage uh, diary page or a series of diary pages from a character in the novel. I think that kind of, does that count as mixed form? Well, I'm going to count it for the purpose of this video. The next one is, where do you picture publishing in 10 years? And my honest answer is that I don't know. I think ebooks and audiobooks would be more popular. I mean, I think they're gaining popularity now, but like ebooks are cheap and audiobooks are convenient. Um, I really wish I could afford audiobooks because I am way busy all of the time and I don't really have time. Even though I prefer physical books, I especially prefer hardcover. I am busy and I'm poor. <laughs> um, so I'll, I don't have a lot of hardcover books. But if I could afford audiobooks, I would be consuming books like all the time. <laughs> Especially on my long commute to work. I teach at a university that's 35 minutes away. So I could really, I could really get some audiobook reading done in that, in that time. But I think that's going to, there will be a lot more options like that available in 10 years. And I think people will start to see it as more acceptable. Cause I know 
even now there are people who are like, oh, I don't feel, I don't know how I feel about ebooks. Oh, I don't know how I feel about audiobooks. But I mean, even just ebooks have been around for a while. And I mean, I don't mind, even though I prefer paperback books and uh, hardcover books, ebooks definitely have their place. Um, like I said, they're cheaper, and if I am on the go somehow and I you can just read it on my phone, which I've done a couple times. That's just convenient. If you could have one booktuber review your work, who would it be? And one of my booktuber friends already reviewed my book on Goodreads, Buggy, and so, I mean, that already happened. <laughs> but I mean, okay, if you're talking about, like, like actually on a channel, and if it already happened that it doesn't count, then Francina Simone. That would be pretty dope if she picked up my book and reviewed it on her channel. I, I would die. <laughs> Next one is writer's quarrels are things of legend. What author alive today would you want to spat with? I spent some time thinking about this and to be honest, um, no one. I don't really feel that strongly about an author alive writing today. I mean, there are some, you know, some authors writing on social media about like some questionable things they want to write about, but I mean, I don't really, I'm not going to like jump on them and start spat on them. And if we're talking about famous authors, then no way, never. Like, <laughs> I already don't like confrontation. And I'm bad at I'm bad at it. If I started a quarrel, it'll be like Machine Gun Kelly picking a fight on Eminem, and we all know how that ended. Ever been part of a writers group? Yes, I have, and it's I love it. I through most of college, uh, undergrad, I was a part of the my university's writers guild. At first, I was just that's my cat. <laughs> At first I was just a member, then I was I was treasurer, and then I was vice president, and then every it just kind of dissolved because everybody was graduating and there was nobody to replace us. And but I loved it. It was really nice. We most of us became, you know, pretty good friends and we sometimes still hang out even though we're all like, you know, none of us go to that school anymore or at that university anymore. But yeah, we would sometimes go to like either we would have actual meetings on campus or sometimes we would meet at like a coffee house and we would bring like parts of our whatever we were working on and we would all like critique it and I mean we had workshops in class for my creative writing class my creative writing classes so I mean it's it's all pretty much the same except with the the Writers Guild I was in, we were all friends. So it's pretty helpful, I think, to have like a critique group like that, whether it's academic or kind of academic, but it's more a group of your friends. I think it's important to have both. And it's important that they are honest and Lulu just pooped in a litter box and it smells really bad. But, yeah, I think that harsh critiques, not like critiques where people are being mean for no reason, but like when people are saying something about your writing that you're not going to like, but it's true, that's really important. That's not really something you're always going to get from non-writer friends and non-writer family. It's important to have other writers look at your work and it's important for you i think to also look at other writers and to exchange ideas i think that's part of what builds a good writer a good writer a good writer i mean it's not like required i know there are there's probably like a lot of people out there who are amazing writers but they don't really have the writer critique group experience but it definitely helped me 
Story time for another writers, time. In one of my creative writing and classes, the answer is no because I, uh, my, I don't need a piece of my books. one of I my earlier one cringy novels in my novel was writing class critiqued because it was required. And I didn't let's just like say it. I, I think there the were dark. there were some things that I liked, but I don't really class. remember what all it but said. I revised it, taking she everything that my teacher a said. Least favorite writer's and craft book. And so, actually, no, I'm gonna no. make that into a story time <laughs> video. And I think, yeah, that was the last question. The tenth question is to tag. So, I'm tagging whoever. Wow, that wind is wild. It's windy today. I'm tagging whoever would like to do this. Probably I'll tag some specific people on Twitter. But yeah, that was my author tube of the trenches tag. And yeah, <laughs> bye.